Hello, great evening or yeah, great evening. So I say great afternoon. It's kind of crazy, right? Well, I want to welcome you to this live stream tonight. Um, I just really wanted to talk to you about some growth strategies that I have been learning and that I have been utilizing on my own channel. And I wanted to share them with you all. So I actually wrote them down. So if you don't know who I am or if this is your first time on my live stream, I want to introduce myself. My name is Simone Redman. I'm a YouTube strategist. <laughs> and I teach entrepreneurs how to grow their business when it comes to utilizing, um, utilizing YouTube and really learning how to increase their visibility and getting more clients inside of their business. That is one of my ultimate goals to help other women. And this is what I am doing for you all today. So today we're going to be talking about some YouTube growth strategies. Let me know if you can hear me. Um, I know you can see me, but let me know if you can hear me. If not, I probably need to turn up my volume. have no idea, right? So uh, we're going to be talking about some YouTube growth strategies tonight. And let me tell you all, so before we get into it, I have been on a podcast, I don't know what to say, like a podcast marathon or something like that. Hey, Leah, how are you? So I feel like I've been on a podcast marathon because I have been listening to podcasts for like the past week and it's just phenomenal like how much information you can actually learn when it comes to um just listening to podcasts. Like I used to listen to audiobooks and I was like, okay, the books are great. But it's like when you're listening to um, podcasts, it's like this information that you can just like keep it in your brain. Like I normally listen to it while I'm driving and stuff like that. And I have learned so much. So I wanted to share with you all some tips, <laughs> some YouTube growth strategies tonight that um, I feel like could be really, really, uh oh, really beneficial for a lot of you. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So number one, um, just because that you have a ton of subscribers, I actually wrote this down because I really wanted to talk to you all about it tonight. So just because you have a ton of subscribers and views does not exactly mean that you know what you're doing. Now, some people, they're like, oh, well, you know, I have this amount of subscribers. I have this many views. But sometimes you may not be optimizing your videos the right way. You may not be using titles the right way or keywords or, you know, all that great stuff, your thumbnails, your metadata, all of that stuff that is so important because most people look at other people's channels and they're like, oh, well, they have 20,000 subscribers. That means that they know what they're doing. Not necessarily. Okay. You really have to take a look at the content of what people are sharing and just kind of going at it that way. Okay. So that's what you want to make sure that you do is that you figure out, okay, well, what is their content like? Because subscribers and views really does not mean anything. Okay. And I want you to understand that for sure. So just because you have a ton of subscribers or views or somebody that you're looking up to has a ton of subscribers and views does not mean anything when it comes to learning how to grow when it comes to YouTube, okay? So number two is I want you to learn how to share your story inside of your videos. Now, here is the thing. Most people, they get on YouTube and they just post a video and then they get off and then they may post another video or whatever. And they think that the more videos that you do, the more you're going to get results. Well, Here's the thing. You always want to share your video or share your story inside of your video because this gets your audience to know you a little bit more, know who you are, what it is that you do, and all of that great stuff. Because the more that you can share on an emotional level, the better it is going to be for you, for your business, the better it's going to help grow, all that great stuff. Because that's what's important is sharing your story. Some people feel that their story isn't powerful enough. Or, you know, they don't feel like they have enough experience. Always share something that you've learned, something that you recently went through inside of your videos when you're doing like your tutorials or you're just sharing information with your audience. Always be sure of that. So share your story, okay? Because you never know how powerful it may be to somebody else. You may not think it's powerful, but it is very, very, very powerful. So number three, have fun with your content. Have fun. Now, some people, they really get on video and they talk in a monotone voice. Like, it's just flat. <laughs> it 
flat all the way around. Like the entire video, there's no excitement, there's no emotion, there's no hand gestures, nothing. So every time you're doing a video, even with it, you know, being on your phone or you're doing Facebook Live, YouTube, whatever, have fun. Have fun with the content that you're sharing. And one thing that helps me have fun in my own videos when I'm doing this on YouTube is that um, I kind of think of who I'm talking to. Like, who is the person that I can think of in my brain that is like one of the best people to be around? They're fun. They love life. They're so energetic. And that's what kind of helps me bring that same energy as well. And then when you have people, um, you know, commenting and doing all of that great stuff, you know, engaging with your videos, it kind of makes it a little bit more better. So you always want to make sure that you have fun with your content all the time, okay? Be energetic, be excited, be so happy that you're delivering this content because it's really going to help out as well, okay? So one, two, three, four. <laughs> I have a lot. So number four is that you want to have a specific direction and a niche that you want to fall into. And another thing is that you want to become really niche down because the more that you niche down when it comes to your business and your uh, your your audience and all of the stuff, it's going to help you out a little bit more. So you want to be have a specific direction. Like where do you want your business to go? How are the videos going to help you learn how to do more things when it comes to your channel, your business, how is all of that going to fall into place? You need to have a strategy, a plan as far as like, you know, how your videos are going to help you out in your business. What is the purpose of you doing the videos in your business? Okay. And um, content is queen behind everything. Just like I said before, content is everything. Subscribers don't matter. Views do not matter. Your custom thumbnails don't matter. Content is what really gets people interested in what you have to say, okay? Now, the more great your content is, the more valuable it is, the more people are going to be like, oh, I need to like keep following this person and seeing what they're doing, seeing all of that great stuff. Hey, everyone, how are you? And um, it's kind of making sure that you're sticking with that content, making sure that it's valuable, people love it, they want it. And they're like, oh, okay, well, I know that this person is going to keep continuously giving me great content throughout. So therefore, I want to stick around with them. So the more valuable your content is, the more people are going to stick around with you when it comes to your YouTube videos, as well as video videos on Facebook as well. And you want to work with the equipment that you already have. And this is my last tip, because you all know I don't like to do long videos. So work with the equipment that you already have. Now, I actually just did a live video, um, a live Q&A video earlier this week uh, with one of my platform sisters, and I just had a lot of questions from these women. They were asking me, you know, how do I get started on YouTube? How do I do this? How do I do that? And they don't understand. And what I want you to understand, too, is that it doesn't take a lot of money to get started, okay? Um Hey, what's your question, Jasmine? You can go ahead and type it in the um in the chat box. Hi, Joy. How are you? Hey, Terry. Hey, Renita. <laughs> it's a lot of people in here today. Um, so one of the things is that you know I was telling them in this Q and A group with one of my platform sisters on Monday is that you don't have to have a lot of equipment to get started. You really don't. Um, the more I won't say the more. I actually started out by doing videos on my phone. And to be honest with you all, I still do. Like this iPhone here is where I do all of my videos and everything else. Um, oh, that's awesome. Thank you, Joy. That's amazing. Thank you. So, you know, you don't have to have a lot of equipment. You know, people are like, oh my gosh, I got to have lighting. I got to have this DSLR camera. I have to have a tripod. I have to have, you know, fancy equipment on my computer. Let me tell y'all, I have a. <laughs> I have a, uh, a a regular laptop PC computer. As you see right now, I'm doing this live video. The lighting isn't great, the greatest, but guess what? We're still rolling with it, right? <laughs> I don't have my photo shoot lights up, none of that stuff. Um, I don't have a DSLR camera. I do all my phone, all my videos on my phone. Yes, you can go live on YouTube. So, and then what are your thoughts uh, with going live on Facebook and YouTube? Okay, so. 
let's talk about that. So we're going to come back to the equipment part. So yes, you can go live on YouTube. Now there's two ways you can do this. Of course, you can do it on your uh, desktop and you have to have a specific software. You can use OBS. Um, that's a software that you can use to go live on Facebook or I mean Facebook on YouTube on your channel or you can get to 100 subscribers on your YouTube channel and then you're able to go live from your mobile phone. Now, that restriction does not go with, you know, using your desktop or your laptop, whatever. But if you want to do it on your phone, you need to have 100 subscribers before you can do that. Um, what are your thoughts with going live on Facebook and YouTube at the same time? I would personally say stick with one and then upload to the other if you can do it that way. Um, to be honest, because today is my day for doing a YouTube video on my channel. Obviously, I have not done one. So this video is going to be my video on YouTube and those people can watch it whenever they want. Now, I feel like you're going to get more engagement when it comes to Facebook because your YouTube subscribers are not going to really be on, okay? They're not gonna be on. So I would say do your live videos on Facebook. Hey, Eileen, how are you? So do your live videos on Facebook, upload them to YouTube, and then you know optimize it, put a good, a good title, your tags, your description, your thumbnails, and make sure that you're optimizing it the best way so that it can rank and your audience can see it. Easy, you know. Very, very simple. So um, I hope that answers your question, Jasmine. So yes, you want to make sure you do all of that. And then the equipment, y'all, I promise you all, you can start off with natural lighting. That's what I did in my videos when I first started out. And then as I as I grew, as my business grew, I was able to purchase photo shoot lights. I was able to purchase, you know, this Logitech camera here. I was about $60 or so. Um, so, I mean, the more that you kind of grow in your business, the more that you're going to be able to afford more things. But when it comes to doing videos, it's so easy and simple to get started. OK, I don't want you going out, buying all of this expensive stuff because I'm not going to tell you to do it because I do it the best, you know, the fr free or the cheapest way possible. I cannot talk today. y'all. So the cheapest way possible. I always tell my clients, start off with what you have. And then as you grow, purchase things that's going to make your videos better. I hope this lighting is okay because I don't have all my fancy lights. I was going to do it, but I said, no, I just worked out. I don't, I don't have the energy. <laughs> I don't have the energy. So um, I just wanted to kind of give you all some growth strategies when it comes to YouTube and just really learning how to grow your channel in 2018 because it's time. It's almost like half the year is pretty much gone almost. And it's just time for you to really get on YouTube and really learn how to crush it. Okay. So I just wanted to give you all that and I want to let you all know. Okay. That's perfectly fine. Just, or you can text me, whatever. It don't matter. Um, so I want to let you all know that I do have a new freebie or a revamped free offer for you. I have my YouTube channel audit checklist and I will put that in the comments below. Um, doesn't do in this video. Let me see. I can't put it in here. Ha ha ha. So in this audit checklist, uh, what it is is that you're going to be learning how to set up your channel the best way possible and learning how to get more subscribers, more viewers, and find and getting more clients inside of your business all from your YouTube channel. That's what you're going to be learning inside of this YouTube channel audit checklist. And if you have my previous checklist, this is really like the revamped version. This is the 2018 version of this checklist. And I'm going to be updating this every year, especially because YouTube changes everything so much, right? So smondayretman.com YouTube checklist. Y'all have my, um, yes, I am live on my laptop right now. <laughs> I am. So, um. And in that checklist, you're going to be able to learn so much how to set up your channel, go to Google, get everything done, your channel banner, learning how to, you know, watermark and brand your videos. I mean, there's so much information in this checklist and you really should go ahead and get that. I'm also going to I put it in the comments. I'm going to put it in the um, the description of this video. So when it's over, it'll be right there at the top for you to download and get that youtube channel audit checklist i'm excited about it so go ahead and get that and i just kind of wanted to just you know just really just be live with you all 
you know, haven't done a live in a long time. Um, wow, I need a laptop. Yes, you do. You should definitely get one because it's fun to do lives on laptops because holding this the entire time is just too much. <laughs> my arms get tired. So sometimes that's why I would like to do, you know, go live on my laptop when I can. So, um, yeah, today is Thursday. It's a great day. So I hope you all get those tips and really utilize it when it comes to your YouTube channel. Make sure you get the YouTube channel audit checklist. It is revamped, ready for you to download and ready for you to consume to get your YouTube channel up and running as soon as possible. All right. So I will see you all later. Have a great evening and I will talk to you all tomorrow morning. Have a good one.